Lord and the Tattooed Stitcher, and I am back for another Floss Tube update. It has been three weeks since my last video. It's the longest I've gone in a really long time, and as I was trying to get all my stuff together, I was like, oh, there's a lot to show. I have finishes, I have fully finishes, I have new starts, I went to a retreat, <laughs> so oh, we'll just get into it. Um, I was sick. The reason my video is a week late is I got home from the retreat and immediately got sick. So I'm pretty scratchy and dry still. And so I have a drink here <laughs> to hopefully combat some of that. I hope everybody has had a great last three weeks. We're officially in fall. I think the official first day of fall was yesterday. Um, but it's been like high 60s to mid 70s the last few weeks here so I mean that's fall. We're in fall and I'm here for it. I'm loving it. I'm loving all the fall vibes and doing all the fall things as you'll see in my stitching. So we'll start right here. I have a lot of finishes <laughs> so in no particular order um, I FFO'd this small I had finished last year. This is Ye Old Crow from uh, Hand and Heart. Heart and Hand. Heart and Hand? So I had stitched it already. I stitched this on 36 count Highland from Picture This Plus. And I just used an overdyed black floss from my stash. Okay. <laughs> For a second, I thought I left off some of the date. <laughs> We're good it's on there um so i finished it with some minky in the back and i whip stitched down some rick rack from lady dot creates all around the sides and i filled it with walnut walnut shells it turned out really cute and it sits in my little bowl with the rest of the pillows and then another finish that i had finished this last year but i finally decided to fully finish it is my Olga's Autumn Stocking. I This just makes me giddy. <laughs> I am so proud of my finishing on this. I was so, so scared. I was so scared to cut this. Um, hence why it sat in my drawer for a year. Um, but I finally worked up the courage and it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad once you got going. It is not lined. It's not lined. I just ironed on some like interfacing to kind of protect the stitches back there because I do stuff like um, picks, fall picks in there when it hangs and it just turned out so cute. Now they don't give you like a pattern, like a stencil or anything really. Like, I mean like kind of, but it's on like all these different pages and I didn't feel like cutting and pasting in any of that. So I kind of just free, <laughs> freehand cut it a little dangerous I know but I mean it worked and I just used some like vintage homespun on the back and I just think it turned out perfect I love it so so much it's like my favorite thing so very very excited to have that <clears throat> finished and then I finished and then fully finished my Winds of First Winds of Autumn from the Blackbird Designs Winds of Autumn book. This is a frame I had um, custom ordered from Hobby Lobby. You guys, this was so freaking fast. I brought three pieces to Hobby Lobby to pick out frames for. Um, this was the week I left for Acorns. So the 9th, I think, is when I went in. The 8th or the 9th and picked out frames and they called me while I was at Acorns. That's like seven days later, <laughs> six days later that they were done. Um, so I just picked out this kind of like rusty, crusty beaded frame for it. And so I ordered the frame and the mat board cut to size and I assembled myself. So I just picked up the frame and they included a hanger, which I haven't put on yet, but um, and they gave me the mat board and I immediately came home and pinned it and put it all together. And I even put paper on the back. It doesn't look great, but <laughs> it's okay. 
but I love it. I love it so much. I stitched this on 36 count colonial parchment from um, Fabrics by Stephanie with some of the called for and some substitutes. Um, originally it's supposed to be a strawberry, but <laughs> Olivia from Pumpkin Hollow Quilts finished it this way and I knew that it was exactly how I was going to finish it. There is another acorn that like sticked, sticked, stuck way off over here and I was it looked so weird to me and I didn't like it so I unpicked it and I left it off um and I don't think it's missing it so this is already downstairs and being displayed and it just brings me so much happiness when I see it every day I love it okay and my last finish I actually finished it this morning well I didn't finish I finished the stitching last week or the week before um and this is prairie schooler sweeping cobwebs i stitched it on 36 count exjude designs ghostly shadows with the shepherd's bush conversion minus the black the black i used drosselmeyer from color and cotton and it just turned out so cute i was undecided on this border for a long time and I finished everything and I was like, it's just missing, it's missing something. And so I put the border in and I was really happy with the way that it turned out. And I decided to do something a little different for the finishing of this because I have done so many frames lately. So I decided, I don't know how secure all of this is. So I decided to, to finish it a la Real Housewives style. Um, I just mounted this on sticky board and the fabric on sticky board, but I laced the back here just in case I wanted to pull it apart in the future. Um, I laced the back and I hand stitched the pom pom. This is a lady dot create pom 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 in the color licorice and then um, hot glued all of it together. Oh, and I bought this board at Hobby Lobby. It was like $3 and I got some matte black paint and I painted it and then distressed it just with some sandpaper. And I think it's really cute. I don't know if it'll stay this way forever, but for now I think it's really cute. And it was really cost effective. I think total on this, I'm in $5. So it's a very cost effective way of finishing things. So for now, I think it's really cute. Reassemble reassemble put things back and I'll talk about this one in a little bit <clears throat> okay so that is my all my finishes and fully finishes over the last three weeks very exciting I'm really happy to have those done um, so now I will get into some whips that I worked on um, okay there's a lot of, uh, it's a lot over here and I'm not taking anything out of hoops. Sorry. So the, f and these are in no order, but one of the whips I worked on is Plum Street Sampler George Decorates for Martha. And I'm stitching this on 36 count Shrekies Tan from Needle Bling Designs. And I haven't done a ton on it. Um, basically, I just, you can't even see it. Basically, I just did house fill-in since the last time. I only worked on it one day, so there's not, not a ton. I was getting distracted by other things, as one does. Um, okay. And then I got a wild hair and worked on my Baltimore salt box from With Thy Needle and Thread for a day. And I basically just, oh, I even left a hanging thread. I was just like, mm, done now. Oh, what is this being stitched on? 36 count milk and honey from Fiber on Whim. And so I just went up with the house and I started on this big pot. Oh, that's why I quit because I have a mistake here somewhere. <laughs> I have a mistake in this pot or the plants. It's, I think it's the plants and I had already unpicked and restitched this like three times and I'm still off. So I was like, okay, I'm done. But that's all I did on that. Not a ton. 
I thought this would end up being smaller on this fabric. <laughs> I underestimated the size of it. <clears throat> and then I had a new start, my birthday start actually, right after I video um, last time. And I'll just show you that I only have the PDF. That's bright. Um, sorry. I started uh, Hannah Campbell, 1838, from Hands Across the Sea. And this is what her chart looks like. And I got the Vicki Clayton Silk conversion for it. And I started it, and it's gorgeous. I'm stitching this on... 40 count exemplar from Lakeside Linens. This fabric is beautiful. First, let me show you the threads because the picture just does not do it justice. These bright pinks and purples and reds. I mean, they're just stunning. They're so pretty. I love, I love, I love, I love. Okay, and this is how far I got on it. So I started um, in a place I don't normally start. I started in the upper left-hand corner so that I would be working my way down. It's so pretty. I hope that the colors are showing up. Oh my gosh, oh, I love it. The border is intense. There's a lot of stitching in the border, but it's literally like magenta and green. It's so fun. The colors are so much fun. So I'm definitely wanting to get that out one more time before the end of September because I mean, it is sampler September. Okay, I feel my voice is going. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> and then I had, well, maybe I'll wait to show this one. Um, and then another whip I pulled out and I didn't bring my chart upstairs, charts downstairs, but it is, um, maybe I have a picture of it on here. It's, uh, oh, I do. My Halloween sampler from Teresa Kogut's Hello Halloween book. And I pulled this out to work on and I, just finished the letter outlines here. And I, I brought this all the way across. I did some of these stars and I'm working on this giant H. This H is insane. There's four layers of color to this H. So it's like the orange, there's a black. There is a, another black. <laughs> there's a red, reddish, it's like that rust color. I mean, and then there's the H. It's like, it's there's so much. Um, I did this lone little wand and then, oh, in this corner. So I was basically just working on those letters and I realized that over here in my W, I have a mistake, so. But this is all correct over here. It's not going to be correct. Gotta fix that. But I'm stitching this on 40 count Dead Sea Scroll from Seraphim Fabrics. If you've never tried Seraphim Fabrics, I highly recommend. They are very softly modeled. Um, and they're just gorgeous, really pretty fabrics. And her shipping is so quick. Um, I know that her, her website is shut down right now. She's on vacation until the end of October, but so she might be behind for a little while, unless she stopped taking orders, I'm not sure. But normally the shipping is within like five weeks and they're all died to order, so. So there's that one. And then most of my stitching time has been taken up by the Rev. Reverend Gordon Squash Bottom from Not Forgotten Farms. I love him. I'm loving stitching on him so much. I can't stop. So his border is fully finished. His cat is done. His house is outlined. 
I did the date up here, which can somebody tell me the significance of 1761? I tried looking up what it could be and I could not find anything. And there's nothing in the chart that talks about the significance of that date. If anybody knows, I would love to know because I thought about changing it because I don't know what the heck 1761 is supposed to mean. But I just like felt lazy and just did it. But if anybody knows, I'd love to know. This is being stitched on 36 count chai from Seraphim. Quickly become like my all time favorite fabric. I want to put everything on it. It's just the perfect like dingy. I don't know. It's just dingy and I love it. So I got his coat finished outlined. I got his buttons on, his lantern, filling in his pants and this coat. Oh, and I finished his head. He didn't have a head last time. He has a head and a hat and he's given us a side eye. Look at him, sassy pants. He's so cute. I decided his cat's named uh, Binks, obviously for Hocus Pocus, why not? Thackeray Binks and the Rev. He's so cute, I love him. Hopefully he gets done pretty soon. It's just filling left, but that house is really, really, really big. That's a lot of house, so we'll see. I really want him up by November. We'll see. He's cute. Oh, got needles everywhere. <clears throat> okay, and then I had a new start uh, yesterday. I started, this is a chart I have been eyeballing for quite a while, and I love that she sells PDFs of her charts. Um, my One of my favorite ladies ever, Stacy Nash. I did, I've been eyeballing Blackwater Hollow for a long time. I love it. There's something just so good about it. My brain likes it. So I was like, it's Sunday. I want a new start. So, but I am not using all the call fours and I did bring my thread so I could tell you what I'm using. Okay. <clears throat> so instead of gentle art, these are all gentle arts. Instead of gentle art chamomile, I am using, and these are subs because I didn't have the originals. I'm using Farmhouse Garden from Victorian Motto. I've never even used this game. Look how pretty it is. Chamomile. And then I actually have Ginger Snap, so I'm using that. And I have Caramel Corn, so I'm using that. But I am substituting um, Walnut with kindling from color and cotton and I am subbing old hickory with garden of ghouls from Victorian motto and then this ties into kind of some haul I got some this is just part of some surprise happy mail I got from Sarah Memphis Sarah E she took a trip recently to <clears throat> um, country sampler, <coughs> country sampler, and she gave, she sent me a, oh, I'm going to have a cough attack. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> Sarah went to country sampler and she sent me a Ymir, she got me a Ymir, um, almond m and silk in the color Raven. And I thought it would be a perfect sub for Onyx for this chart. So I'm stitching this on 36 count chai from Seraphim and I started it yesterday and I can't wait to start stitching on it again today. It's so pretty. I started bottom left like usual. I'm trying not to have coughing attacks every five seconds. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Last whip was my start at the acorns and threads retreat. And that is the gather in. I am stitching this with all the called for on 36 count X2 designs. <clears throat> Aged hazelnut. And I stitched on this the whole weekend. I couldn't stop. I didn't want to stop. It was perfect. started bottom left 
and here's my start. I got a good chunk, <clears throat> a good chunk filled in <clears throat> the left side of the house right here. All right, glare. So, I mean, there's still, when you think about what's left, there's still a lot, a lot to go. <clears throat> But I love it and I will be pulling it out here probably this week. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Would you go in? Okay, so acorns and threads recap. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do kind of the highlights because there's already been a few videos of it put out and they're wonderful. So We've got in, we flew out of Salt Lake and we got in to Portland um, about 4 p.m., 4.30. We met Bernadette, uh, um, we, me and my friend Amy. Her channel is Extitching and Adventures. We live really close, so we carpooled and traveled together. <clears throat> and we met Bernadette in the airport in Portland and we Ubered to the hotel, which was an Embassy Suites. I don't think I've ever stayed in an Embassy Suites and it was it was really nice. The hotel was really nice. We met Rocio there. <clears throat> she was already there. She was my roomie. And we did our exchange really quick in our room. <clears throat> so I gave her the, the pillow that I had made and shown from Sub Rosa. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm going to try really hard to get through this. Because if I don't get it out of my head, I'm going to forget everything. So, <clears throat> lovely Rocio, we did our exchange. First of all, she had mine in this cute little bag that I got super dusty on my shelf. And she gave me this chart. Super cute, Stony Creek. What's it called? Just the May Halloween chart of the month. Oh, it looks like it was a series. <clears throat> cute. And she gave me this really cute, um, what's it called? It's not a thread gauge. It's a fabric, like a measuring thingy from where you start. I love it. It's so cute. And then she gave me this, um, <clears throat> bobbin holder from Bags Plus. There's no tag. I think they're bags plus. Creepy little dude. And then this was her small that she made me. I think she said it is a witchy stitcher pattern. <clears throat> I don't know the name of it. Like I think it was the Patreon. Um, but I call him Pugsley because he looks like Pugsley and he's so cute. I love it. And the frame is amazing. <clears throat> okay so first night of the retreat we went to <clears throat> well the retreat hadn't started yet it was thursday night we went to the mall they had a huge mall pretty close to the hotel so we walked to the restaurant there um was called din tai fung and it was like soup dumplings i'd never eaten soup dum soup dumplings before so Bernadette taught us, some of us, <laughs> some of us knew, some of us didn't know, <clears throat> taught us how to eat them and they were really good. Um, I accidentally ate a crab one though, and I'm still traumatized by that. Otherwise everything was great. Um, and then the next day was Friday. We had breakfast and the retreat was supposed to start at 10 <laughs> and we kept wondering like, when is, when is everyone going to start lining up? Like, there's no line. <laughs> So we kind of were like standing around the entrance, like making a line and all the veterans were laughing at us. Like, you don't do that. We don't do that here. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but in the line we met, um, I believe her name was Carla. I don't know. There were so many people. I met so many wonderful people. Um, Corey was another one and they kind of showed us the ropes, taught, told us how the weekend usually goes. And I got the sense that there wasn't very many newbies. Um, I, I mean, maybe a handful of new people, like the their majority, the vast majority of people at this retreat had always gone to this retreat. So it, 
it was a little strange feeling like, you know, fresh meat. <laughs> but everyone was very sweet and we had such a great time. So we got our table, we got all checked in. Um, they gave us name tags. I think I got my name tag here. The new people, the new people got name tags. Everyone gets a charm for every year you go. So I attached mine and they're <clears throat> magnetic, but it kept falling off. I'm going to have to bring like a chip clip or something next time. So we got name tags. And so at my table was um, Rocio Cocohama Stitchery, Bernadette Burn Stitches, Amy X Stitching and Adventures, um, Jill Ann. Jill Ann, yes. And I know she has an Instagram, but I can't remember what it is. Um, Lori. I think she's Prairie Stitching on, on, um, she gave me a thing. I can't find it. Prairie Stitching on YouTube. Oh, right here. Oregon Trail Stitching. Wow, I was really wrong. Oregon Trail Stitching. And Karen, um, Heritage Stitcher. She's also the president of the Pacific Northwest Cross Stitching Guild. Um... She forgot her name tag. We had to make her one out of gum wrappers. It was the best one though. <clears throat> and I love my table. Everybody was amazing. We laughed till we were crying. <laughs> we had a lot of snacks. It was just so much fun. <clears throat> and we closed down the room every night, stitching. <clears throat> so I'm not gonna go through all of this stuff. I will show, I did participate in the Smalls Exchange. I'll show the smalls that I had gotten. And they did it um, a really different way than I was used to. So you had to put your small at the table and check it in because they had, um, it was like a hybrid retreat. So there was Zoom people and in-person people. And all the exchanges were going like across borders. So it was very organized and it took a day and a half to get through everybody's exchanges. Um, so you had... <laughs> When your name was called oh i was like dreading when it was my turn when your name is called go to the back you pick out a small and then you have to bring it up to the front where janine was janine and tracy um from tracy's from ink circles and then janine was the owner is the owner of acorns and threads and you had to open it on camera for all the zoom people and i um <coughs> I was just feeling really awkward about that. Uh, so the small that I had gotten is from, it just says Lee, but she, she did a poem. So this is the small, it's the letter A. It's so cute and it has the Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit 24. It says A is for acorn. Okay, it was for autumn. Chart from the Old Barn Stitching Company. <laughs> So I need to put that down in my little bowl downstairs because it's very autumnal. Super cute. So we did this, the <clears throat> Smalls Exchange the first day. They gave us our kits the first day too. And the kits were absolutely incredible. So are the, the, design, bleh, the designers was Teresa Kogut and Beth Twist. And <clears throat> I have them both shoved into one bag. So let me separate them. So they gave us Beth's first and hers came in these adorable eco-friendly bags that she stamped for everybody and the chart. Look, I've even got it still wrapped up. The chart is called Across the Miles and it's basically a partner chart with the one Teresa did um, talking about how uh, it doesn't matter how far apart you are when, when you're friends, you know, um, it says distance means so little when someone means so much. And she's, she had trees from her native trees and stuff that she sees on her property and she keeps bees. And this is the color of her house. And the, um, otter's name is Finn, I think, or Willow. <clears throat> it's one of those but it was so cute <clears throat> and her husband. So, so her and Teresa, so this, this raccoon, I think the raccoon is Finn and the beaver is Willow. 
they're from this is from Teresa's and this is from Beth's and her husband made these wood thread organizers and there's 14 for the amount of threads that are called for in the chart and then the fabric that they gave us I just thought this was incredible I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it they gave us a full fat quarter of Cedar River Linens Maple Bar and the dyers for Cedar River Linens was there at the retreat and they even had it so you could swap if you didn't want to stitch on 36 count they had all the different fabrics obviously in Maple Bar that you could swap but I thought that was amazing and then we got Teresa's which came in these bags which is her chart <clears throat> Um, where is the chart? Okay. And her chart <clears throat> is no distance too far. And it says, does they say the same thing? They say the same thing, but I know that there's a way you put them together. Anyways, here's Teresa's. She said that is not the color of her studio, <laughs> but this is stuff, um, in her home state, Michigan that she sees out her window and I thought it was just so sweet and she also gave us some <clears throat> cards with it on there and the full thread pack 14 over dyed threads to stitch it and then <clears throat> oh and then stickers and the bookmark and then the second day, they surprised us with a bonus chart, which is the Willow and Finn Biscornu um, and the buttons to do it. And it was pretty cool. They said eventually in a year when these patterns are released, um, <clears throat> the Pacific Northwest people are the only ones will, that will have received the pattern to combine them. Everybody else will only get either that one or either that one when they buy them. So I thought that was like special and fun. <clears throat> So the kits was amazing. I was just stunned with the generosity and the thought behind all of it. <clears throat> so then the first day of the retreat, um, like they had the hotel catered our lunches for all three days. Um, the first day was Mediterranean themes. There was like baked chicken and salmon and vegetables and um, salads and things and a cake bar it was so good all of it was so good um dinner that night I think we just ordered in I cannot remember already the details are <laughs> failing me <laughs> um so Saturday we had breakfast we went into the room um we just stitched I think they did give giveaways we did make make it they call it make it take it and they did two make it take it's and the first one, this is also wood from Beth Twist's husband's husband. So it's from <clears throat> their property. They own 25 acres of woods. And it was a, am I doing this right? Like this. It's a phone stand. It was so handy to have actually. <clears throat> oh, I'm supposed to have it like this so the acorns was showing. Huh. So we did make it take it. That was one of them. And the other one was this um, acrylic board with magnets. So you can store things on it, have your needles handy. <clears throat> and then lunch the second day was Mexican theme. So there was enchiladas and, and tacos and three different kinds of meats and all the fixins for them and another cake bar. <laughs> I mean, the, there was so much food. It was unbelievable how well they fed us. Um, because, so they provided lunch, but then from 5.30 to 7, the hotel opened evening reception and they had like a cheeses and crackers and vegetables and chips and salsa and an open bar. <laughs> open bar. And it's all complimentary from the hotel. And then... Then the hotel would put in our stitching room, specifically in the corner, more little snack foods <clears throat> and more desserts. I mean, just 
unbelievable amounts of food. It was, I felt so pampered and the food was all delicious. Um, like by the time dinner came around, we had eaten so much already through the day. Like we were barely even hungry for it. I think the third night I just had some steak bites from the hotel restaurant. Um, and then Sunday was the day we left and it, we, our flight left at like 1130s. We had to leave pretty early. We didn't get to go into the retreat at all. And I know that the lunch was like a box lunch, but it was, I'm pretty sure it was just like sandwiches and chips and things, which I love a sandwich. So disappointed I missed that, but we got home. I started feeling <clears throat> sickness um, Sunday when we were traveling home. I was like, I am getting something. And then the next, that night I was uncontrollable shivering in bed and miserable sick <laughs> the whole week. Um, it's finally been today that I've been able to talk for more than five minutes without coughing, but I still, I'm still having good coughing episodes. So really, really fun. So the retreat was amazing. Oh, well, we shopped at Acorns. I have my Acorns haul to show. That's what we did on Saturday was we went shopping at Acorns. Um, the retreat was amazing. If you can get in, I highly recommend it. It's just was like so well organized. Janine and Lori and Sarah and Roz, who's the original owner of Acorns, they did such a fabulous job organizing everything. It was just wonderful. All the people were were wonderful. I got to meet um, Ter uh, Lisa Kindred Stitcher and Beth and Teresa. Obviously, I'd met Teresa before, um, but I never met Beth and. Um, Michelle Bendy Stitchy was there and Share Bear Stitchin from, I met her at Stitch West in April. She was there and we got to see her again. Just so many, so many, so many wonderful people. Um, so I will get into my, my haul now. So kind of funny. I just saw this and I wanted to show it. Rocio brought this little dude to sit at our table <clears throat> and when we had to frog we had to take him and he had to he would rock on the table and he just like side-eyeing you judging you for having a frog we named him um frederick frederick frodo and <laughs> so she gave him to me to take to the next retreat which is in october she's not going so i have frederick to take <clears throat> with me and then, you know, we just got, they just really spoil us. I got so much stuff, you know, from people just at the table. So we got like rings and scissor fobs and like just so much. It just, they just kept coming around and coming around. And I thought these jars were so fun. The Acorns team gave them to us. Uh, they were made by Michelle Ink Designs, Artisan Fine Silver. And so I was using it to keep my orts in. I thought it was so much fun. And then it gave us these bags too. And these stickers you're supposed to put on the bags. What does it say? <clears throat> Out of my way. I'm on my way to acorns and threads. <laughs> just, I mean, they came around with just like M&Ms. <laughs> Lots of just swag on the tables. But let's get into my acorns haul. Here's my bag. I'll take it all out of the bag so you don't have to hear the crinkling. But um, Acorns and Threads was fantastic. Uh, they gave us a 10% discount um, if you went over $150, which I think that's so easy to do in a stitching store. Not a problem. <clears throat> so I'm going to try I'll do fabric first. Oh, so I've decided or not decided so much as I've come to the real realization that I I just can't stitch on dark fabric. I can't do it. There's a certain level that my eyes say, nope, we're not doing that. And my brain and we don't like it. So I had a fat quarter of seaweed from Fox and Rabbit. And I don't know what the heck I was thinking when I bought it. <laughs> and I know my friends were like, what are you doing? Why are you buying this? I was like, I can do it, guys. 
I can't do it. So lovely Rocio likes dark fabrics. So we traded. She's not big neutrals person, but we trade. So she traded me this beautiful cut of Ophelia from Color and Cotton, which was the September fabric of the month. I mean, <sighs> I love it. And the angels are singing. Can you hear them? Oh, so I'm very, very, very excited to have been able to tra <clears throat> trade for that. Okay, so the fabric I bought at Acorns and Threads, they didn't have a ton. I mean, they had fabric, but like they didn't have a ton of variety. Um, they had a lot of Cedar River linen, obviously, and Atomic Ranch. And so I ended up getting a piece of 36 count Amber Waves from Atomic Ranch, just a really pretty like sand color. And I also got a piece of 40 count Golden Harvest, which is another really gold color. So like you're going to say those are the same. They're not. They're not the same. Different shades, different counts. <clears throat> So those are the only fabrics I bought. Now, I'm just gonna start pulling. Let's start pulling from this bag. Oh, they had freebie tables and everything. Um, at Acorns, they had three freebie tables and I didn't get anything off of them. <clears throat> so I know other people found a lot of good things. I found nothing, so it's fine. I took too long to go to the tables. Okay. So one of the charts I got was um, with that needle and thread, Burr, It's Cold Outside. I love this chart. I have um, the witches ones actually on display right now. I can't remember what it's called though. I cannot remember what it's called. I keep wanting to say sail at the bubbling cauldron. That's not it. That's my whip from Praiseworthy. So anyway, there's that one. I got the <clears throat> Stacy Nash Be Kind, Be Kind sampler. And I got the new Stacy Nash Merry Autumn Pin Keep. Oh, I love this. I even kitted it up. With all the called for threads. I love it. I love it. I love it. So cute. I got the new Brenda Gervais <clears throat> Autumn Swan. I have the Summer Swan, so I wanted Autumn, obviously. I got another new um, Brenda Gervais, the Woodland Witch. I love this one. I wanted the other one that was new too, but they didn't have it or it was gone by the time I got there. And then another ha pattern I've been wanting for a long time is the Liberty House from With Thy Needle. And I kitted this one up too. Um, oh, this was another new, one of the new With Thy Needles, the Gordness Gracious. Carol the salt box stitcher just showed this one on her channel too. <clears throat> and then I got the new, another new Stacy Nash Nettie, Nettie? Nettle. It's so cute. I love it. I'm scared to video the finishing though. Maybe next year. Okay. And then I got, <clears throat> these do not go with this. I got American Welcome from Plum Street. I was a bit bugged that it comes like this and not in the normal size folding chart, folded charts. <clears throat> like I want them all to be the same. It's bugging me that it's not, but I love this chart. And then I got American Sampler from Primrose Cottage. This one was actually on the brag table finished. It was so pretty, so pretty. And then I got Elizabeth Hunt, 1845. A few people are stitching this right now and it is so pretty. I need to finish a few of my samplers before I started though. And then I got the new hands-on design. Um, rounds gather around they have them in all seasons but i really like the autumn seasons i just want to finish them in little pillows and like stick them in a bowl together i think it'd be really cute and it's just dmc <clears throat> so i think i'm going to kit them up and bring one to start stitch west 
because Stitch West in October is hands-on design, so appropriate, me thinks. And then I got With Thy Needles, Marianne Cop. Cop. This one is so pretty. I love the border. And then I got, so I quit the Fabulous House series a couple of months ago, three or three months ago, four months ago. Because I just was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> but then they released this summer one, the floating house, and I knew I needed it. I didn't want a doggy. So I wanted the floating house. So I got that one. And then um, I've been wanting this Blackbird Designs book, Souvenirs of Summer, especially for this chart right here. I mean, I love that one too. So many good ones in here. I don't like the fish, but I love that sampler and the pot, flower pot. And there, some of these Blackbird books are going out of print and I don't like that. So I've got to start picking them up when I see them. And then, <clears throat> I got just a bunch of random threads. I got, I need, there was a few I needed for some projects. Um, but then I got some that are just like, like a lot of these are, are new. So Goldenrod, Misty Mob, Leather Vein, River Otter, Grassland, Winnie B. Blue, and two Oscars. <laughs> like those were all new ones. Like they had tags that say new, new release colors this year. So I just grabbed some of the new ones to have in my stash. And that is all of my haul. I had so much fun. I had so much fun shopping and being with my friends and meeting new people and I'd never been to Oregon before. That was fun. It was great. It was a great time. I had a lot of fun. And I hope I can go back again someday. <clears throat> um, plans. Or actually, yeah, we'll do plans. Um, don't really have any. I'm in full autumn stitching mode. Autumn Halloween. So the whips you saw will probably be whips I continue to work on. Um, planned new starts. I am starting Ghoul Tide Welcome in October with Sarah, Memphis, Sarah E, and Bernadette Burn Stitches. I've got the Vicki Clayton silks for it, and I'm still torn on the fabric. The overwhelming vote was Maple Bar when I showed fabrics last time, but then I pulled this one and I was like, oh yeah, maybe this one. And it's um, vintage lentil from Lakeside Linens. Like, isn't it so crusty and like Halloween-ish and like creepy? Perfect for Ghoul Tide Welcome. Oh, so I'm kind of leaning towards that one just because it is so dingy and crusty and that's kind of the look I'm going for. Another possible new start in the next little bit is, um, I don't have the chart yet. It's on its way to me. Is um, Thankful, Grateful, Blessed from With Eye Needle. I mean, it's an extremely popular chart. You'll know it. You would know it. It's the big orange house. And so I kitted it up because you can find the thread list online easy enough. I kitted it up. I have some of the call fours and a lot of subs. So the house color is the call for, but a lot of these are subs and I used, I was able to use a lot of my um, leftovers from other projects, my Vicki Clayton's. So that'll be fun. And so instead of doing Maple Bar for Ghoul Tide, I pulled it for possibly Grateful, thankful, blessed, because it's just so rich and autumnal. <clears throat> so, I would really love to get Gordon, the Reverend Squash Bottom, finished soon. But I'm just kind of working through my holiday themes, my, my Halloween things, my fall things. I'm really enjoying that right now. Um, and that is it for Stitchy Plans very minimal. Um, I do want to do a couple special um, thank yous. Uh, thank you, Sarah. Memphis Sarah E. She sent me, you know, that thread and this needle 
bed, what is it called? Needle book from Country Sampler. I thought that was so sweet of her. Um, Christy from Crosshatch Quilts, she just put out a new video and I screamed, I was so excited. Um, she gave me a really lovely, sweet shout out. She's just the sweetest and be prepared to be enabled. Go check out her videos if you haven't. Um, Jessica, the Sweetwater Stitcher, she gave me a really nice shout out in the last two videos she, I think she did. Um, she's putting out like weekly videos and I love it. The second they come up, I'm like, yes, thank you, please. I'm watching that. And you have to have your um, phone open, your cart ready to go to keep adding things in because she's a prolific stitcher and everything she stitches is amazing. So <clears throat> thank you to you lovely ladies shows because i've been watching shows you know i've been watching shows so i've been watching rings of power obviously it's so good it's so good people who don't like it i don't understand i don't understand what you don't like because i love it um also two shows started last week the real housewives of salt lake episode one i'm so here for it it's so good it's so good mary's back and she's already making waves. It's great. Um, and also Sister Wives season 19. Sister Wife people, where are you at? Okay. <laughs> it is bugging me a little bit that we're so far behind. Because in this season, Christine is just barely dating David. But like this past summer, we got the special where we saw her wedding to David. It's like we know where they're married. So this is like way far behind and that's a bit annoying. Um, <clears throat> and Garrison is still with, you know, still with us in this season. And that's a little, they did give a disclaimer about him at the beginning of this first episode, but it's still very, very sad. Um, but I'm looking forward to the rest of this season for sure. Uh, I watched, <laughs> and by watched, I mean consumed without chewing the secret lives of mormon wives on hulu <laughs> first of all if you did not grow up Mar mormon you would be like if i didn't grow up mormon and like know like know this culture you like it would be way more shocking to me um but it's really hilarious because that's not mormonism <laughs> what these how these girls live that's not mormonism and so it, I'm curious to, you know, what, you know, practicing and devout Mormons think of this show, but I consumed it. It was so good. <laughs> I can't wait for another season. Oh, the tea was piping hot. Um, I, <laughs> I've also started a show called Gangs of London. It's on it was on AMC for a long time, but they moved it to Netflix. There's only two seasons. I don't know if that's intentional. Like there's only two seasons and it got canceled or if that's so far, there's only two seasons and we will get more. I'm still in season one, <clears throat> but it's got the guy that plays John Shelby in Peaky Blinders. And, um, the lady played Catelyn Stark and, uh, princess. I can't remember. Augusta from uh, Charlotte, the Bridgerton story, um, the mother of King George. Um, she's in it too. And so far it's really good. It's very gritty. It's very graphic. It's very violent. So if that's not for you, please don't watch. Um, it reminds me so much of modern day Peaky Blinders. Like it's Peaky Blinders in 2024. Um, <clears throat> It's so good. <laughs> I am not crazy about, um, God, like, his name is Finn Cole. I think he's the lead. I'm not crazy about his acting in this show. It's not great. Um, could be way better. It's not great, but the premise of the show and like everything, I mean, it's so good. It's so good. I really like it. Holy graphically violent though. Um, I was not expecting that. I don't hate it, but like it was, it's at times you're like, Oh, <laughs> you know, it's too much so definitely gonna keep watching that though I also binged um the new series it's like a dramatization documentary but not really a documentary but a dramatization of 
Eric and Lyle Menendez. Um, it's called Monsters. And so Eric and Lyle Menendez were the brothers that were convicted for murdering their parents um, in 1989. So I was not even born in 1989. And so when all our trial and everything was going on, um, like it was during the time of OJ and all that, it was kind of like a really big turning point for the legal celebrity world. Um, <clears throat> it was really good. <laughs> the acting was superb. Um, Javier Bardem played the dad. He was fantastic. Um, I thought the boys, the people that played the boys were really great too. It was just really interesting to see. Um, if you ever watch it, if you watch Dahmer on Netflix, it was along those same, like it really felt like that show. I wonder if it's the same like producers, but it was like a dramatization. So you're like watching and it's up to your interpretation. Like, so, you know, they're adding things and embellishing things because they weren't actually there watching these boys' conversations, right? So they kind of just like almost <laughs> like leave it up to your inference, your, your like deducement. Like if you think this was really true, if you think this really happened, if this really didn't happen, if, you know, it, it was really good. I really liked it. So I definitely recommend go watch that. Um, and then other than that, I've been watching Bones when I am not in the mood to be paying attention to a show or when kids are screaming loudly around me. And that's all the shows. So I'm going to be keep continuing to watch. Oh, we've been watching um, Deadliest Catch still, the new episodes. Um, so we'll be keep watching our shows that are new every week. And if I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I do want to watch, um... The new Netflix docuseries about Wyatt Earp. That looks really good. I love westerns. So that is everything. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me and sticking along for the ride, even with my coughing episodes in between. Oh, I did want to show this shirt really quick. My sister gave me the shirt for my birthday. Stitchers go to Stitch. Uh, she brought it to me just in time for the retreat. So and it was very popular. I had many people ask me where I got it. So thank you, Olivia. <laughs> um, but that is everything. That is all. Uh, it is September 23rd. So I probably, I might be back in a, in a week. Depends on how much stitching I do. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great next few weeks of stitching and enjoying your fall weather wherever you are. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.